For decades, the dream of colonizing Mars has teetered between science fiction and scientific ambition. Today, that dream inches closer to reality, as major players like NASA, SpaceX, and Blue Origin push the limits of space exploration. NASA's Artemis program is laying groundwork for deeper space missions, while SpaceX, under Elon Musk's vision, is rapidly developing its Starship rocket, a fully reusable vehicle designed for interplanetary travel. Musk's ultimate goal? To send hundreds of people to Mars and establish a self-sustaining colony by the 2030s. Meanwhile, Blue Origin envisions a future where millions live and work in space, although its Mars-specific plans remain more conceptual. But getting to Mars is only the beginning. The Red Planet is a hostile world. With average temperatures plunging below, 60 degrees sexy, a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide and constant radiation exposure due to its lack of a magnetic field, survival is no small feat. Engineers and scientists are exploring domed habitats, underground shelters, and even in situ resource utilization, such as converting Martian CO2 into breathable oxygen or building structures using Martian regolith. Terraforming, the idea of transforming Mars into a more Earth-like planet, remains a distant concept, requiring centuries of technological evolution and planetary-scaled interventions like melting the polar ice caps. Daily life on Mars would differ profoundly from Earth. A Martian day, called a Sol, is 24 hours and 39 minutes long, which is close enough to Earth's cycle to be manageable but different enough to require recalibration of human circadian rhythms. Over time, colonists might adapt, but the mental toll could be significant. The psychological challenges of isolation, confinement, and being millions of miles from home are just as daunting as the physical ones. Any communication with Earth would involve a delay of 5 to 20 minutes each way, making real-time conversation impossible and forcing colonists to make autonomous decisions. Logistics, too, are mind-boggling. Transporting food, water, equipment, and spare parts across millions of kilometers is neither cheap nor simple. Even a single launch failure could jeopardize months of planning and endanger lives. Every solution, whether it's growing crops in Martian greenhouses or recycling air and water, must be redundant, robust, and resilient. Despite all these hurdles, the drive to reach Mars continues with unrelenting intensity. Colonizing the Red Planet may be one of the greatest challenges humanity has ever undertaken, but also its most defining.